Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, back probably about a year or so ago, I, I did a uh, tuner video, but I wasn't real happy with the resolution. So what I wanted to do today is kind of give you a little bit higher resolution on the tuner itself and the meter uh, and kind of teach you how to use a manual tuner or some of the tips anyway on using a manual tuner. Anyway, I bought this one used about four years ago. It's an MFJ 986. MFJ 986 and I've uh, been using it for about four years now with no problems uh, operating it through my amplifier. It is a legal limit tuner and I always recommend that if you're going to buy a tuner you know, at least buy one for 600 watts, and preferable to that, buy a legal limit tuner, and then you won't have to go replace it if you happen to get a tuner, or happen to get an amplifier. So anyway, uh, let me kind of go through some of the uh, little buttons, and we'll kind of talk about it. This is simply a light button right here. I have never attached the power cable to light up the meter. Uh, I've got plenty of light in the shack and I've never needed to light up that meter. So uh, what you're seeing right now is just the ambient light in the shack. So never did connect this up uh, to uh, the power strip <clears throat> down on the floor. The next two buttons, uh, one of them is for low or high power. There's two settings, and of course, uh, I'm going to use this on high power, so I've got it on the high power setting, and you just simply push it in, and then you're on the low power setting. The other button is an average or a peak reading. I usually just leave it on average uh, while I'm tuning up. Uh, that seems to give me, that's my preference anyway, for where to leave it. Uh, it seems to work real well. Now, the main reason I bought this tuner was my old Elmer, John Walker, recommended it to me. Uh, first, it's legal limit. And second, there's only two adjustment knobs. This little one right here and this big one over here. Those are the only two knobs you manipulate in order to get your SWR as low as possible. A lot of these uh, manual tuners have three knobs, and what you're supposed to do with the third knob is to set it for maximum noise, maximum noise on that particular band, and then you manipulate the other two to get the lowest SWR. Uh, this doesn't have that. You just simply uh, use the two knobs to tune up uh, in concert with one another. In other words, you try one knob, you get the uh, SWR as low as it will go, and then you switch over to the other knob and make another adjustment. And you might have to go back and forth a couple of times to get it as low as possible, but once you do that, uh, then you're in great shape uh, on down the road. And you won't have any problems. So, <clears throat> again, there's two needles. There's one on the left for forward power. That'll tell you how much power you're putting out. Then there's one over here on the right for reflected power. And you don't want any reflected power or as little as you can get. Where the two needles cross, in other words, crossing, uh, you know, like that into an X, where they cross, there's some little red lines, and you can read the estimated SWR off those red lines, and it's where the two needles cross, that would be your reading for SWR. All right, so I'm on 14 meters right now. And I had tuned up for the lower end of the band to work some JT65 down about 14.076. Well, I'm, I'm now up at 14.177. Uh, 
So let's uh, hit the tune button on the radio and keep your eye on the meter. All right, you can see we're still tuned up pretty good. I, I've got a less than 1.5 to 1 SWR right now. So, you know, you could just say uh, forget about it and go on about your business. But being the perfectionist that I am, I'm going to adjust that out of there. So let me get you up close to this meter a little bit closer. And I'm going to adjust that right out of there by manipulating a couple of knobs. Let me get you a good shot on this meter. There you go. So, again, uh, let's hit the tune button and look at those two needles. And you can see they're crossing uh, 1.3. Less than 1.5 is what uh, the meter shows. So not really out of tune a whole bunch. I'm kind of on the margins right now of being tuned at 1.5. Let's just call it 1.5. So let's see if we can tune that out of there. So again, let's hit the tune button. And I'm going to come over here and Turn this knob and watch that needle. Do you see how it's moving around? Okay, I'm going to get it as low as I can get it. And then I'm going to switch to the other knob. And now we're right in tuned. And my meter on my radio says 1.2. 1.2, it's fluctuating between 1.2 and 1.1. So that's going to be perfect tuned up. No problem, and I'm tuning at about 15 watts. Eh, it depends on, uh, you know, somewhere between 10 and 15 watts is what I usually use to actually tune up. I uh, found that if I tune at 15 watts, it really doesn't uh, matter at 600 watts. It's still pretty much in tune, although... Once I kick the 600 watts to it, I might have to just touch up one of these knobs, just a little hair, to get it back down to uh, what you saw just a minute ago. I might have to just tweak it just a teeny bit, but that only takes a second. So let's do that again. Let me move uh, down the band. I'm going to move back over to where... CW is located and uh, PSK 31 and those. Let's hit the tune button again and see what we got. All right. All right. Again, I'm below 1.5, but I don't like that. So let's make an adjustment. Let me show you that one more time. Watch that needle. You can see where it crossed and it's, it's right there at about the 1.5. And you can see I'm putting out about uh, 15 watts right now, something like that, on the left-hand needle. All right, so let's uh, do it again. And I will tune that out of there. We'll start with this one and see. No, that's about the lowest. I'll switch to the other knob. And there we go. That's pretty good right there. So again, I'm showing 1.2 to 1, and uh, everything is wonderful. So let me back you up a little bit. There you go. So anyway, the tuner works great. Now, one of the hard parts about a tuner is, you know, you go to get connected up, and the back of most of the manual tuners will say, uh, will have two connections. One will say transceiver, and the other one will say antenna. But just remember that if you're using an amplifier, that it has to go between the amplifier and the antenna, not between the radio and the amplifier. Okay, now I know that's confusing to some of you new folks, but the tuner itself, this thing, has the set between the antenna 
and the equipment. <clears throat> That's what you're tuning. You're tuning that coax coming in from the antenna. Uh, so in the case of an amp, the transceiver side of this box would be the amplifier. I know it says transceiver, but you have to be smart enough to know it's actually the amplifier. And uh, the antenna side of this, of course, would be the actual antenna. Just remember that the tuner goes between your all your equipment, whatever it might be, and the antenna, and you'll be in great shape. Anyway, uh, that's all I've got for you today. I hope this came out a whole lot better. You can see the numbers. And if I was going to write this particular frequency down, which is I'm down low where the CW is right now, I would write down, uh, let's see, five for capacitance and 156 for inductance on a piece of paper or a notebook or something and I could go right back to this frequency and just touch these knobs and get them set to those two settings and I would be uh, real real close to good to go. So with that said I wish you clear skies in 73 and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. Go out there and get yourself a manual tuner. Learn how to work these knobs, okay? And then you can have perfect SWR to the radio. Remember, it doesn't fix the antenna, but it allows your radio to put out its maximum watts, or whatever watts you have it set for, and prevents any damage to the final uh, transistors because your SWR is too high. It prevents that. So get out there and get you one. Have a great day. See y'all later.